Thank you. Member for Richmond South Centre. Thank you, Honourable Speaker. BC Youth Week is a provincial-wide celebration of youth help during the first week of May. It is initially designed to be a week of fun, filled interaction and celebrations intended to foster a stronger connection between youth and the communities. The celebrations in the, committee, uh, in the community are designed to highlight the interests, accomplishments, and diversity of youth across the province. Also, the concept of Youth Week started in 1995 by a small group of local municipal planners and youth recreation leaders in the Lower Mainland. It is, has now blossomed into a provincial-wide celebration built on partnerships with youth, community leaders, advocates, different levels of governments, businesses, nonprofits, schools, media, and many more local youth champions. During the first week of May, youth in BC will be given opportunity to participate in activities and events organized by youth for youth. BC Youth Week oft, uh, often includes youth award ceremonies, advocate, uh, campa advocacy campaigns, services projects, entertainment, educational forums, games, sports, competitions, and other opportunities to engage a full spectrum of diversity use in meaningful, constructive, respectful, and appreciative manner. Youth Week is an important opportunity for us to recognize and celebrate the incredible contributions that young people make in our province. Young people are the future of our province. They will be leaders, innovators, and change makers of tomorrow. We must show them that we understand and appreciate they are valued members of our community, and we believe in their potential to make a positive impact in our economy, social justice, equity, and prosperity. That's why our government is committed to support growth of our young people in some, into someone who they want to be. For starters, our government init initially is committed to build 8,000 on-campus housing beds in 10 years, and only five years in, over 7,700 new student housing beds are already open and underway. Budget 2023 includes new investments to exceed that target by adding $575 million over three years to build an additional 400 beds, 4,000 beds, I apologize, one extra zero. In 2019, our government ended interest payment on student loans, and in April 2023, we announced that we are increasing weekly student loan maximum for the first time since 20, 2006. We are also lowering the maximum repayment amount from 20% of household income to 10%, making life more affordable to new graduates. In 2019, our government made a single biggest in investment in open education resources and open textbooks. Over 330 textbooks are now available, and they range from popular first and second year subjects, such as math, computer science, chemistry, business. It also includes textbooks for skills and techno uh, technical subjects. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Such as fundamental uh, foundational trade courses, healthcare, tourism, hospitality, and adult basic education. In 2020, we launched a BC Access Grant as one way to make post-secondary education and training more affordable and accessible. In 2023, the tuition waiver program, which waives Tuition and a fee for former youth in care is now expanded, so all former youth in care, no matter their age, can access post-secondary education and training. Budget 2023 invests $480 million over three years to support future-ready plans to break down barriers to post-secondary training so, many, so more young people can get the training they need in, demand, in demanding careers. One of the reasons we, we should celebrate Youth Week is to empower youth development. Youth development is a process that enables young people to grow into healthy, well-adjusted adults. However, some of young people experience overwhelming challenges that they need community to rally together with them. At any given time, an estimated 95,000 or about 12.7% of BC children aged 4 to 18 are experiencing a mental health challenge that is causing significant symptoms and or impairment. Approximately 75% of serious mental health issues emerge before the age of 25. Due to the intergenerational trauma and ongoing effects of colonization and racism, First Nation, Métis, and Inuit children and youth are at a higher risk of mental health and substance challenges. That is why our government is working hard to support our youth in our community. We strengthen the Fundry network across the province. Fundry provides virtual support, free and confidential mental health and substance use support, physical and sexual health services, peer support and social services to young people aged between 12 and 24 and their families. 
Our province further strengthens our support to young people by committing to implementing in integrated child and youth teams in 20 school districts by 2024. Integrated child and youth teams are a groundbreaking approach designed to fill gaps and better coordinate mental health and substance use care through multidisciplinary teams. There are also 92 child and youth mental health teams across the province. Child and, men, child and youth mental health team clinicians provide initial assessment to ensure children and youth are connected to the right support. Everyday Anxiety Strategies for Educators, also called EAST, is an online course for educators that helps bring mental health support and resource right into the classroom for K-12 students. Rooted in cognitive behavioral therapy, EAST includes strategies for effective anxiety management skill. Mental health services in school strategy also outline a vision and pathway for mental health and substance use support for students and adults throughout the K-12 education system and expand a, on a pathway to hope. The strategy includes compassion and system leadership in school capacity building and mental health in classroom. There are also other government and community initiatives that supports young people's mental health needs, including Here to Talk, Kids Helpful, Family Smart, Confidential Parents, Thriving Kids, and much more. Youth Week can also help break down stereotype and negative perception of young people. Young people are often unfairly characterized as lazy or apathetic. However, Youth Week celebrates and demonstrates many ways in which young people are active, engaged, caring, committed to create a better world for all. Youth Week celebrates young people's talents, skills, interests, and passion. As a former youth worker in Richmond, I never cease to be amazed by the ingenuity, dedication, compassion, and conviction young people have as they serve and better the community through volunteerism. Furthermore, young advocates are champions of raising awareness on issues that matters. We need to work with young people and foster safe and inclusive platform for them to voice their concern. I apologize. I look forward to remember the opposite as they add additional comments to the Youth Week. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Member.